I want to go over kind of the process that I use when either someone has given me a job to look at or we're reviewing a job. Uh, this is something that one of our new engineers, uh, Blake Crawford, uh, did, and I helped him do it. So it was kind of a, a, a training as we were as we were building the, the surface, and uh, he did the heavy lifting, but I kind of helped him along. Um, a couple things I want to note before we start, and this is one of those those crazy things. You'll see all these vertices on this contour. I couldn't even get this cleaned up in Civil 3D with Carlson. It was a Civil 3D file. There's a bunch of artifacts from that. These are all little line segments that just um, got pieced together. In a couple of the areas where we didn't like it, we actually redrew uh, some of those contours. And it may be in a newer version of this file. I might have an older one here where we cleaned some of those up. These didn't really bother me too much, didn't make the surface big. So we kind of let it go. And you can see everything's consistent. So you send me a surface and you say, hey, look at this. This is what I'm going to do. Um, I've got the contour set at a tenth of a foot interval, and we can look at the uh, oops, the the properties. No, I can't. Okay, um, so we can uh, we can go through. Let's do that. So we, we kind of get the the routine down. So here's our surface. Um, here's our quick contours. We can go to the properties of those, and we could actually change those if you wanted to. Um, if you're done doing that, you can make it a half a foot, or in our case, we'll change it back here to a tenth. So that's a nice quick way to um, uh, to kind of see what you're doing and how you're doing it. So I've got I've got tenth of a foot contours, and I've got my surface triangles turned on. So I'm going to look. I'm going to look for consistently sized triangles. Um, these are okay here. This is sort of a sloped roadway, but um, the contours are working out well. I'd love to see them like this, but what you're seeing is vertices on these contours here that were uh, added because our settings were at 10 feet for this job, I believe. So anything that we didn't put in there, it's going to interpolate at, at uh, 10 feet maximum distance. So I've got good slopes. Um, uh, we made a note about this entry here because it says join existing there were some elevations and we want them to take shots send them back to us we'll incorporate those in the model make sure they work okay because this is pretty steep here and i want to make sure it doesn't get too steep so the entry is not looking right that may require some substantial rework so we want to catch that early on um, there was a real problem over here in this area um, and uh, what we did was kind of drew a break line around here, almost like a contour, to sort of help chase water out of here. And what's happening is you're working your way into a handicapped parking area where the sidewalk drops down at grade, and they're kind of taking water and pushing it over this way. You can see the, the slopes here for the sidewalk going down here and then going back up here. So that was something we had to watch. We have some exterior sidewalks here. Again, I want to see those slopes, make sure they're OK. And let's head down south to the retention area here and look at what we've got. little grading area here in these peninsulas. So I don't worry too much about these uh, uh, peninsula grading areas. Let's face it, after the curb is in, they're just going to get filled in, and that's not a big deal. Um, we do blow through these, um, uh, these islands so the grading can happen uh, a lot easier. And let me show you what that means. Um, if I come through here, you'll see that this is all flat and the 3d face of curb line is on either side and what we do is we take the top back of curb it's a 3d line so you can pick it in the rover and work on it if you want but this allows the blade to run through as opposed to here in the islands where we will respect the curb and put that in because that does need to happen so let's come back over here let's kind of head down south we've got a uh, uh, splash pad here we work down into this retention area there's a little low flow channel here uh, that they'll put in there wasn't any detail or slopes on that so we didn't mess with it too much and just show them where it was and we come out here uh, here's an inlet and then an outlet here and a splash pad that goes to existing drainage that's on the outside um, everything here is going to work fine and this is looking like it's going to join uh, future construction. So this is just kind of a, a, a berm here at the end to stop everything. Overall, things are nice and simple, and this job is going to perform well and look nice. This is a parking expansion, so we don't have any buildings to mess with. And in the next video, I'll take on the next step, and we'll talk about surface performance.